I am not a great typer. Um, and I'm constantly making all kinds of silly mistakes. So I recently hired a robot to do some of the checks on this. And this is not totally brand new technology. You've seen this for a long time in Microsoft Word, where you'll see the little squiggle lines under both your words, I think that was misspelled. And you could also optionally turn on the grammar underlying squiggle, but frankly, that was for the longest time. Still wildly, like not to how people actually wrote that I think most people just turned it off. So Grammarly is basically that kind of feature, but it's not tied to a particular application. It can be run across every app on your computer. And what it does is it basically reviews your writing and then offers suggestions. And you even set different styles within it. So you can say, oh, I'm writing business style or I'm writing for marketing style. And so by letting it know like the kind of writing you're trying to do, you can also have it do um, some things like if you've got like basically a style guide at work, unusual words, you can also drop these here into the system. And so here's what that looks like in the real world. And so in this case, ignore, so you'll see these things here where it says it underlined red. And it's saying, oh, we think your verb form here, let's just see if I can increase that size a little bit. I can't, but it's a little bit off. And so it's saying like, you, it should be actually, I'm sending. You're like, I'm um, send. You're right. You're totally right. I'm sending. Here's another one. By take advantage of these things. Like that doesn't make sense. By taking. And so it just does some nice little grammatical suggestion. Here it says favorite. That's fine. And so it does these nice little suggestions. And then you'll see it's got this little, this little load even here, which is quite small. And this actually, if you put it in here, it gives you some more stylistic suggestions, like the more heavy rewrite options. So sometimes they'll say, oh, your wording's too long. And you can sometimes accept it or sometimes ignore it. So you've got like around the world is what I had written here. And they're like, honestly, worldwide is shorter. What do you think? Should you try that? Not bad. Or we're free to that. So join us in taking us in talking to your favorite group. That is doing good, or favorite group doing good in the world. You're like, good idea, actually. That is an improvement. Reframe. And sometimes it is like a figure like, oh, no, I never say that. Dismiss. And so you can go through it here. But it's a nice little tool just to do a proofread where if you don't have another human available to do that proofread for you. And so it also saves you, for me, it saves me from terrible embarrassing mistakes in work Slack messages all the time. Because it works in all the apps across the organization. There are little flags and that's not a real sentence. Try that again. I'm like, good point, robot. Thank you. And so that's Grammarly, the basic version I'm showing you here. Totally free. If you wanted to do even crazier robot -y things, you can pay the money. But I'd say if it's of interest, worth checking out. Yeah, thank you. I love Grammarly. I'm glad you brought that up. Grammarly has been a, a lifesaver for me. I use it as well. It's been like when I'm writing email, you can even use it in your email. You're using like your Gmail. You, you can type it and it will tell it'll help you like articulate the, the craft the perfect email. You can yeah, you can integrate it in so many different things. It's super uh, useful. And it's like one of those things where it it's like hidden behind the scenes. It's, it's per se, it's not a tool per se, but it's a tool. Like it, it makes you a better writer. So yeah, I, I'm glad you brought that up. Thank you. I, I love it. I use it and I highly recommend it. So yeah. It'd be itchy to hear you send secure email. Oh, that's a good question. I, Eli, do you know about that? I, I It's a good question. I'm actually Googling for that right now because honestly, I'm not totally sure about that as well. They do have this piece here of saying they don't record everything you write. So I'm going to put this link here into the chat, but I think that's a really good point for organizations that may have compliance issues like government, like health organizations, like banks, where they need to be very like, careful around, around the data and what's reading and sending things to external servers. Because it's certainly, I think the server is working remotely. It's not happening completely on your computer. Um, so that article they give you, will give you a, a test on it. They're saying like, it's not doing standard key logging. That said, I think that's a, it's a strong concern to look into. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Eli. 
Yeah, I, I love it. It's more, it's not a spell checker. It really helps you craft good sentences. And that's one of the things I love about it. But yeah, that, that was a really great question. Yeah, some of us are very guilty about the passive voice. Mm -hmm. And it's good to have a robot saying, no, we don't do that. I'm like, thank you, robot. 